So today I'm going to be talking about an artwork called Music in the Frying Pan Pub Brick Lane in the 60s, which is by an artist called John Sheehy. So John Sheehy was born in Southwest Ireland in 1949. He moved to London in the late 1950s where he worked as a builder and roofer, but he endured spells of homelessness, um, partly as a result of mental health issues um, and, uh, and unemployment. He first began painting when he was 51, so he'd never picked up a paintbrush up until then. Um, and he was encouraged by the arts group run by The Big Issue because he was selling on behalf of The Big Issue. Um, since then, he's produced this huge body of paintings, of artworks. Um, there's not just paintings in there, there's printmaking, sculpture, playwriting, poetry, music. And he considers all of the work that he makes as one kind of big narrative, as a kind of total artwork. Um, his paintings are sometimes portraits, self-portraits, um, sometimes landscapes, sometimes purely abstract. He produced work. He produces work at a phenomenal rate. Um, so sometimes even his largest paintings, that can be ten foot by twenty foot, they can take less than an hour to complete. He daubs paint on in these really thick strokes um, onto materials not necessarily designed for painting onto. Um, so sheets of MDF or, in this instance, um, the flat side of a suitcase. Because of the speed at which he paints and the kind of marks that he makes with his paintbrush, you can often see the background surface that he's painted onto. He creates with this real sense of urgency and he's immersed in the act of making and in the therapeutic benefits of making. He says, I'm going to read a quote, he says, art helps me, it's crucial, necessary, gets me through the day, gets me through the night. It's a friend to me, a big time friend. So sometimes um, in his work it re refers to rural Ireland, sometimes it refers to urban London, um, and, and kind of some often kind of familiar or everyday moments. So he returns to subjects over and over again um, so sailing ships, terraced houses, chimney sweeps, um, but because of the, the kind of repetition of it, it, these kind of characters become talismanic um, or they kind of take on this like new meaning because of the, the kind of obsessive focus on these characters made over and over again. John Sheehy describes his passion for creating art as all-consuming so he says it's like a hurricane blowing very fast it's like desperation to get the paint on there when I'm in it I'm not really worried about whether it's dried or whatever it's the action it's the movement and I think we can really get a sense of that from the works in um, Received Wisdom we've got three works in there by John Sheehy um, and you really get this sense of pace and fastness and I think it's particularly interesting because the works that we've got in Received Wisdom um, are all by older artists. Um, we're celebrating the works of artists as they as they kind of get older, as they age, and it just shows that you don't have to have been making artwork for your whole life in order to become an artist. Um, John Sheehy had a totally different career um, in, in the building industry but obviously had this like creativity bubbling up inside him and when he finally got the opportunity to be able to express that it came out in this vast vast body of work and he's created hundreds and hundreds of paintings. I really like what John Sheehy says about the therapeutic nature of work, of making artwork um, and I think that it's really helpful for us to think about that especially at this time um, lots of us are in really challenging, difficult circumstances and situations at the moment and I think for me definitely being able to focus on my creativity um, and making things I think as a way of expressing myself has been really really helpful so I hope that I can uh, leave you with that bit of inspiration for the next week. 
um, and if you decide that you're going to be making things for yourself or making things with your family and being creative do feel free to share on our social media we'd love to see um, we'd love to see what you guys have been doing and uh, do keep in touch if you have any questions about this artwork or about the Arts Council collection or the work of the Arts Council collection do feel free to send the page a message or um, or to comment on this video and I'll try and address that in the next video for you.